Vikings! I'm back. I almost gave up. Uh, if you want to have a look at some interesting design challenges, then uh, follow along in this design vlog. The printer got some uh, covers. Uh, it's not exactly a, like a heated chamber, but I would like this printer to have some panels to enclose it. I'm thinking of making this in like acrylic, just laser cut them. But let us remove those. Now to have a look inside, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the challenges I've been dealing with lately, uh, mostly due to the um, to the X carrier. I lowered the X axis yeah, about six millimeter, I think. So it, no, now it's more in line with the Y axis, um, which is fine. But of course, we do need we do lose some uh, sea travel. I don't know what the sea travel is gonna be at this point because we have not started on uh, the lifting mechanism for the sea, but it's gonna be belted for sure. Um, I would like to implement the Bring Smart Worm Drive, Worm Gear there, um, which is all metal and would be nice to also implement on the Weeking as an upgrade for later. And let's have a look at the X Carrier. Uh, I need to also attach this belt lock. So this is now version 58 of the X Carrier, and I've been there's been so much back and forth on the design and the the biggest challenge is that we need to make it printable in um, without like crazy amount of internal supports and stuff we don't want lots of internal support uh, if we are going to use support it preferred to be touching build plates i'm gonna implement the lower belt into the X-carrier like this. And then I'm gonna add these uh, slots so that we can also have a lock on the top, which also uh, this lock is at the same time the upper belt um, path um, yeah, fixing. And then we use the same one over on the other side. So they have two functions. They, they um, stop the lower belt from sliding up and they keep the upper belt in place. Yeah, let's dig into these guys these screws holding these guys in place the belt locks so let's go into analysis and see what i've done is you can see how tight this is there's no not much space to uh, <laughs> to go with uh, around this bolt and of course this screw you need to place before you add the the wheels or else it will not um, be possible to add it um, and we want to make sure that we have you know certain amount of thickness in the wall here you don't want this wall to be too thin um, that will weaken the carrier too much so and also we cannot <laughs> like we need um, <laughs> we need this tension screw for for the fork so that means we cannot go too close to the center uh, <laughs> either we have to be on the outside of the wheel or on the inside of the wheel so this screw could be on the outside but then we we'll lose a lot of x travel <laughs> so it's just crazy crazy tight um, I hope you understand how, how uh, challenging challenging this this is because it's like yeah uh, so I have to laugh about it <laughs> because it's kind of funny 
but um, and I'm gonna make of course for the top pair we need to cover the top but that's gonna just be a shim like a two millimeter shim on up top uh, for this uh, this uh, nut and a washer up top uh, two millimeter shim so the belt doesn't uh, slip out the upper belt coming into uh, here and it's gonna be go the go in a loop and then out again and attach a grab to itself these parts are currently printing so I can show you how I print those parts so I just bring them in as is but we are we do need to use some support of course just touching build plate and um, this is how it look, looks like in the preview so just a little bit of support here should be no problem um, getting uh, those off we can see that it's prototyping right now Uh, this feed is not too good quality but you get, you get a picture um, it will be done on the weekend in about um, let's see in about yeah uh, one hour 12 or something around and then we can go on and see if we can make a really really clever hot and mount and at this point I, I don't know if I want the hot end on this side or on this side I mean we can we can make this side our let's say front of the printer and keep the hot end over here we can even make this side the front doesn't really matter so what what do you think what do you prefer um where should should we mount the hot end on this side i mean against the motor side or the idler side i'm not sure um travel wise it's the same so yeah we're looking about 170 xy the fans will grab some space um, we could mount the fan on the on the other side of the x-axis and go down below over to the nozzle under here and this will also make it easier to implement tool changing because we can just keep the fan on the carrier and just change this unit but it also could be um, over here it could be um, on the same side as, as the hot end and we can go down on the inside of the hot end um, it will be a tight fit so I'm not sure I like the long route around the fork and under these are the next challenges so i think i'm prototyping now the the x carrier to have a look at the, all the belt uh, attachments and if they are successful i can add the belts to the prototype and test run it a little bit uh, just by hand and uh, then we need to look at the hot and bound and possibly uh, changeable interchangeable uh, at least manually so leave me a comment in uh, down below and please subscribe uh, thanks for keeping up with my uh, struggle <laughs> have a nice day